Well, here we are again. This is going to be a special video. Um, I had a request about making a video and um, what about I'm crimping these cans to get them open. So I thought I'd do this. Now I've gotten it started. Uh, this is a tough one. A lot of these smaller ones are. This is the only one I actually had that was easily able to get out of the radio. Uh, but generally you just take a, a knife and just dig in there and I usually like to let this ledge sit against here because you, know, you don't want to really do it like this you could get yourself in trouble uh, if you slipped uh, this way if it slips it'll, it'll just hit the table and the other thing too is, is it's a regular pocket knife so always be putting pressure this way because if you don't, you know, you could just close her up on your fingers. So, but you just dig in there between this metal ring, <laughs> between the metal ring and the aluminum. Now, some of these can be pretty tough. Some of the aluminums are, uh, I don't know, they use some sort of alloy that made it a little bit stronger aluminum and it's a little diff more difficult to get into this one was kind of hard the smaller they are like this is it's a little more difficult to get in here but then once you get started generally what I do is I'll get in here at kind of following it around like this and just take it and kind of wiggle the wiggle the screwdriver back and forth now when you get to to the points here it can get a little difficult because you run out of room and uh, of course now that we're on video this may be a little more difficult I generally just get in here and just kinda pry against this and against aluminum a little bit to get it going you want to take a little bit at a time. Don't try to get it completely uncrimped on the first round. And uh, just keep working your way around. If you bend these a little bit, that's okay. It's like I bend those a little bit just to kind of get them out of my way. I'm hoping I'm keeping this on camera. It's kind of hard to watch the camera and watch what I'm doing here. But then once I get past that point, See, you can slip just like that. Then we just kind of keep rocking the screwdriver just a little bit at a time. Work our way around. Just take your time at it. Time is your friend here. And once you get to the other one, do the same thing. Just kind of keep working around. Now you see how come I want to keep my hands away because these can slip. And I say this one's a little more tougher than some. And you'll run into these, but it doesn't matter. They some are extremely easy, but I just take them all as they come. And we just keep working our way around. Now, there'll be a small piece of uh, aluminum, and I don't know if you can see it. It's it's the ground, the negative of the capacitor that comes up there, and sometimes it can be a burger if you're in it. Yeah, it's right there. And that one's really sealed down. Usually they're not sealed down that, that good, but so I just gotta put a little more pressure on it. Get around there. We're almost home.
and it, it's like anything else. It takes a little practice. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I always wanted to know what was in these things, and I was never satisfied with just tearing one apart. Now, we're all the way around. Now, what I generally do is I'll come in here and make use of that metal ring and just what I'm doing is just kind of bending it down like this making use of the metal the steel sometimes uh, you have to kind of go in here what I'm doing is just kind of prying her out a little bit to get her opened up some more and I'm really sorry if I'm not getting this on video too good um, see you just uh, stick in between the metal ring and just kind of pry it out and that's what we're doing here and work your way around to kind of get it pretty much out there'll be a flat spot on some of these it's just the locator for the ring when they build these some don't have that or some don't have it as pronounced as this one is now I, I don't have the heat gun out to uh, pull this um, some of these are not too bad now you can kinda come in here and just kind of pry against the top a little bit just to kind of clean it up a little bit I don't know if this one is uh, how solid this one is or it's going to need heat but I, I wasn't really going to yeah didn't need heat it had no tar in it but that that's how you take it apart there's that little aluminum piece that was giving me a little bit of trouble it will come in over top of this and sometimes some of them they'll just move out of the way it won't give you any troubles this one was doubled this one's doubled over so it generally when the ring is setting on here it sets over top of that ring like that and then they're crimp this is the negative that's all there is to it now uh, Let me see if I can get the camera. I'm going to widen out a little bit here. And I'm going to show you another way of doing ones. When you got these type where they screw in down, and uh, there's no crimp down here. The crimp's up here. Now, you could uncrimp these, but these are really uh, heavy gauge aluminum. And inevitably you're going to make a mess of it I mean it's going to show you could file it and stuff see the thing about this yeah you made a little messy nest right here but when you crimp this thing back over when you restuff the cap you crimp it back over this is going to be on the bottom it's never going to be seen so another way of do doing them when you got special like these but you can do these too same way is you take a knife, utility knife, just a plain Jane utility knife, box cutter, whatever you want to call them, um, sharp blade in it, and you just start rocking it. And work your way around. A sharp blade, and keep it right up against that edge, and a sharp blade will cut right through these pretty quickly. I probably just shook the camera there. I accidentally hit it. I wanted to get it adjusted so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So you just kind of go keep going around. And it's We're almost through. Yeah. That takes top off and then you can glue this top right back on with some glue 
uh, light duty glue and it won't even be noticeable and then you just clean up the, this is just rubber here and you can kind of bust it up a little bit what's inside these is a mismatch of metal um, don't know if I can get it out but it's stuff like this and uh, one on each side I don't know if you can see in there there's a mesh insulator between it and the other and then this sets in there and they're right down right down in there that makes up this is the positive plate the cans a negative plate this had insulators on it because it, it's out of of an RCA and uh, they want to insulate the whole power supply um, from the chassis so that they could run uh, the center tap through resistors uh, and what they do, do that for is so they can develop some negative voltages for uh, bias and so that's how you do those these these can also be done the same way just pick a spot like along here where you can kind of keep it straight and you can rock them back and forth and cut them and then um, rig up some means of either gluing it or something uh, but that's I hope that helps a little bit I will tell you um, there's another YouTube user that has done videos on this and done various various techniques of restuffing not only these capacitors the electrolytics but the paper capacitors heating them up and restuffing them and and putting them back together as well as making uh, his own dog bone resistor replicas molding dog bone resistors and painting them up and that's B Anderson TV if you haven't found him if you haven't uh, signed up to his channel check him out um, the guy is a great restorer great attention to detail both in the electronics and the cabinets his cabinets are absolutely gorgeous so check out B Anderson TV uh, like I said he's done a lot of videos on this as well as a lot of videos on uh, doing various techniques of aligning both radios and TVs both visual as well as a VTVM and signal generator and sweep generators so uh, again I wanted to do this so and uh, thanks for your comments and thanks for the my new subscribers and I, I think we're getting this uh, uh, replying down a little bit better so you know, I'm starting to learn about Google Plus and stuff so anyway thank you and uh, I'll be making a video soon about where we're at on the RCA so be looking forward to that until next time bye